Hi, I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. And in this video, we're going to go over some of your favorite YouTube channels about growing cannabis. <clears throat> just, just to make sure they're giving you the right information. Just to make sure, right, they're winning. I mean, you wouldn't want to get information you're not winning from, you know what I mean? Because uh, I'm telling you, I've been doing this for 10 years. And 99% of you fail. So if your recent YouTube favorite grower channel has started to say things like Pigeon 420 or Prodigy, where they look at their canopy and just after 10 years of videos, they say, that is the most cannabis I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my God. And they stare in amazement. It's because they started listening to the grow boss. That's the truth of it. And if you want colas like this in every trellis hole, that's winning. I'm going to show you. That's what we're going to talk about now. You'll notice that it's also, I got a touch of the contest in this as well. So here's how the contest works. Five, five comments from this video plus five comments from the other garden review video uh, each week on the weekend webcast get entered in to win the contest for the great white microbes. You'll see more about that in a sec. Great, the great white microbes. Uh, and then, of course, if you submit pictures, I can review them like in the other video. Go to thegrowboss.com, submit pictures, and... Uh, I'll review them in the other video. Uh, or maybe I'll run across your fantastic garden on YouTube during a review. Okay. But regardless, we're going to go over what winning is. I've got prizes, if you, you know what I mean, giveaway. So I appreciate the comments. Also, if you want to do the live stream, like you see I did with School of Crop or I've done with other growers before, on the weekend webcast, Saturdays. 10 a.m. Get on here. Look at that. It says StreamYard right there. You can StreamYard in. And we've been getting a little busier. There's more pictures being submitted. And you know what I mean? It just takes some time to ramp it up. So let's get to it in this video. All right. Now, you can go to thegrowboss.com, pick up my books. I've got this video page. You can get my, my videos. I've got free videos. You could pay to... Everyone's always like, Grow Boss, where's your garden? Listen, if you want to see me grow, it's right in that members only section. All right, I've got consults. If this isn't enough for you and you want to talk to the Grow Boss one-on-one, -on -one, we can do consults. I've got consult kits. I've got this troubleshooting page. This one right here, troubleshooting. Or go to cannabis, cannabiscannabis.com. Take you right to this page. Here's 1,000 pictures for you to compare your garden to. This is the prize, by the way. It's one kilo, 2.2 pounds of great white granular. One, uh, two pounds, which is 32 ounces of great white soluble and a pint of orca, which is in all the land. There is no better rooting product for your hydro system than this thing. That's like less than 20 bucks. So don't even gripe about the price. You guys are willing to buy recharge and a whole bunch of other nonsense stuff. Of course, if you go right here to the photo submission, Click on that. It'll take you here. You can submit pictures. I look at them in the other video, just like this video. And let's start off this week. Um, nope, I am saving that for last. This is Patty McStoner. Let's take a... Okay. Wow! That is a fantastically large pot. Oh, but what is this? Uh, what? Oh, it's overwatered. Week five? What? I don't, I don't listen. I don't even know it. It says over water in the title. Of course it is. We've watched this channel before. But anytime you, anytime your pot is bigger than the plant, you're growing dirt. I guarantee you, it's too much light, and you've over, you're over watering. It can't be any other way. It can't be any other way. Are you growing dirt? Is that what this was about? You come to my hydro store because you're like, hey, grow boss. Have you ever heard about this dirt? My friend says it'll really blow my shit up, but I don't actually have any plants or any branches, and buds grow on branches, but I don't have any branches. So what I'd like to do is I'm really considering growing some floor. Can you help me grow some floor, Grow Boss? How can I grow some floor? Oh, wait a minute. These aren't even the same plants. That's a different. Somehow we switched. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bait and switch. Bait and switch. Hang on a sec. Okay, so we've got two plants over here that are overwatered. That bucket is huge, and they're tied down. Did you catch that? I'm going to tell you something, okay? A couple of things here. If a grower ever, there's only one grower, Northern Scrogger. Go watch Northern Scrogger. He's allowed to tie his plants down. Nobody else. 
If you're tying your plants to the bucket, you have no idea how big these plants are going to get. Cannabis grows like a fucking weed, man. It's a fucking fuck, man. Like six weeks, you almost can't put your arms around it. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this, you know what I mean? Like if you tuck the leaves in, you know what I mean? So plus, here's the thing. If you're in week fucking five and you've transplanted and you haven't figured out that this is never going to be anything, that's where bugs come from. Well, and uh, that's where some bugs come from. You overwater a bucket like this, you're going to get gnats. You, you have plants like that, you're going to get leaf aphids and spider mites and thrips, right? They're, where are the branches? Well, this thing should have been topped. Well, forget it. I mean, it should have been topped here, but just set all that aside because it's, it's just, it's a zombie plant. You can't do anything with it. You can't do anything with it. Okay? It's just zombie. You can keep keep doing what you're doing, but you can't do anything with oh. it. For those that are new to growing, okay, wait, also wait, wait. did it in the wait, other... Wait, wait, wait. I didn't realize there was... I didn't realize we were going to get advice. Hang on. For increasing both of those and transplant up a little earlier than I... Really ...disappointed that this run didn't go better. Now let's get into what I was thinking and what happened. For this series, for this run, I only made a couple of small changes getting away from the basics that I've had success with in the past. I've had pretty good success, but not exactly where I want. Okay, I'm going to tell you a secret here, okay? I'm going to tell you a secret. It's a fucking plant, okay? I'm, I'll tell you everything you need to grow, but don't make this mystical, all right? Here's the deal. If you put a smaller plant in a bigger bucket, water less frequently. Fill up the whole fucking bucket with water until it's wet as fuck. And then don't water again, but wait three weeks. You know what I mean? Which is why you don't grow in a bigger bucket. If the bucket's bigger than the plant and you want to feed once a week and the bucket's so big that you should be feeding once a month, you should be watering once a month, how are you going to feed once a week and not over water? wanted to be by using less light and less nutrients in past grows. So I was going to slowly start increasing both of those and transplant up a little earlier than I normally do in this run and see what happens. I went and screwed that all up this week by overwatering the plants. Okay, I'm going to tell you something about overwatering, okay? I'm going to tell you something about overwatering. Overwatering is chronic. It's chronic. It takes... <clears throat> it, it, listen, if you're going to blame nutrient deficiency on pH lockout, I'm going to tell you something about overwatering. It takes three weeks to overwater. <clears throat> so it takes at least that long for a nutrient deficiency from pH lockout. Three fucking weeks to overwater. You can, you can, you can be in Hawaii and it rains every day and you don't overwater. In Oregon, there is no overwatering once. It doesn't exist not how it works listen look, look at this plant let's say you should water it once every three weeks okay so let's say you water at week one then you water at week two then you water at week four and then you water at week seven so it's every three weeks except for that once the plant won't know Overwatering is chronic now i'm going to tell you the other secret if you take that tiny ass dip plant on the right and you put it in a bigger bucket, you don't know what winning looks like. You don't know what winning looks like. And if you don't know to chop off the lower the lower bug traps on the left plant, you don't know what winning looks like. <clears throat> you would never allow those things to happen. If you're in your garden 10 times a day, and that has been there for the last 30 days, you don't understand what's important. And not only did I do it in the auto flower tent, but I also did it in the other photo period. Oh my God, those have been dead for... Okay, okay, okay. Remember when I told you earlier that, that you well. all call me at the for same those time? those that are new... There to it is! Seven weeks old, six inches tall. Whatever, five weeks old, six inches tall. He still thinks there's a chance. These are zombie plants. Why would you ever try to... Listen, if you've got a four-week veg and you're five weeks into veg, it would be easier to start over.
<laughs> I mean, first off, you've never seen anybody except somebody that listens to the grow boss push their plants together and put it in the corner. So he listens to the grow boss. So Patty McStoner, I promise you those are dead plants. I promise you I want you to win. Not the prize above. If you want to win the prize above, leave a comment. But if you guys want to reach out to Patty McStoner, I'll send you a copy of my book. If you're in the United States. I'll, if you pay shipping out of the United States, I'll send you a copy of my book. But I'm not going to pay shipping to send you. You can just watch my videos for free. Oh, this guy's got a Sea of Green series. Oh, I bet. I bet. Uh... Hey, but those look like, those looks like they could be some buds. But that's not a sea of green. So this video is a year ago. I'm down and... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, yeah. I bet he just loves that canopy. Oh, yeah, no. That canopy, you're missing 95% of your yield in that canopy. It's all empty. The buds are two inches long. I promise you 12 inch colas as big as this around. So you're missing 98% of your canopy. But hey, just look at the picture. You're missing 98% of your canopy. So there you go. Here's something. Let's see. We'll take one more quick look at this channel. In this grow, I decided uh -oh. to go with Fox Farms Happy Frog oh, for you? veg oh, and yeah, Ocean Forest for the flower. Mm -hmm. This is normally where I'd be telling you about what kind of... Okay, let me say this. Those plants are pretty close together. Maybe this is the first grower in history who puts his plants together like that without me having to tell you. But I'm not sure because usually what I do, and if you go to trouble, if you go to my troubleshooting website, go to my website, thegrowboss.com, where you can pick up a copy of my book. And then if you go to the uh, troubleshooting right here, or you go to cannabiscannabiscannabis.com, it'll take you here. If you want to look at pictures and get an idea of what that is, I mean, I have pictures I have pictures of gardens that that love to do that whole more more dirt more dirt than plant. I know that's not dirt, but I think you get the idea. That love to do uh, more dirt than oh, I'm winning! What? More dirt than plant. Oh, I always have my one favorite picture. Oh, here's another brilliant one. Oh, just dirt. That's here's one. Ah, just more dirt. Than, look at how many plants there are. Okay. If you don't understand that those are dead now, it doesn't matter what your old videos look like. If today you think this is winning, then you don't understand what cannabis is supposed to look like. I mean, just. Just, just remember, I mean, cannabis is Bob Marley, big and green and healthy, right? I mean, cannabis is, is a canopy full of green and buds and giant plants and colas. And this is what I'm promising you guys. I promise you guys that you can all grow colas and gardens and plants that look like this, that fill up the whole space. There's no, look at that. Look how short those legs are. Look at how many buds. It's all fucking bud. Bah! So if you don't understand that this growing like brand new, this can appear to be a nutrient deficiency <laughs> or too little light or various other problems. But this is 100% overwatering. The telltale signs that let you know are the way that the leaves are curling downwards they're just so full of water that you actually get little bumps along the edge of the leaves um, and if they were underwatered 
they wouldn't be drooping down like this where they're drooping down in the leaf. They'd be actually drooping down from the stem. Wow, so he's actually, if you scroll down, if you go to the, if you go to, if, at, here at the top of my page, if you go to the, if you go here, the troubleshooting guys. Yeah, it's called chicken claw. And if you dehydrate your leaves, of course. I mean, if you dehydrate your roots because you underwatered, <clears throat> it's the same problem. You can only absorb water because the root hairs absorb the nutrients. So here it all is. This, this thing is almost 10 years old. I made this chart for you guys. So just understand that he's reading from the grow book while he's killing his plants. Now, remember, he has been overwatering since day one. There is no way you can do this unless you've always been overwatering them. And almost be pointing towards the floor. This is almost always accompanied by various nutrient deficiencies where you get the yellowing of the bottom leaves. Okay, there it is. You don't get a yellowing of the bottom leaves because those should have been taken off a long time ago. So here's a guy who's reading my book, coming along, watching the videos, Right? I mean, I might as well, listen, Patty McStoner, I might as well send you a copy of my book. I mean, if you're going to do it, let's get it right, Patty McStoner. Get it right. All of it. Get all of it right. I'm here you for get you. The purpling, um, you get just an overall plant that is failing to thrive. You'll get no branching. And if it is growing, it just grows straight up and looks like it's not really going anywhere. It's bigger and than sadly, the bucket. sadly, even once I do bucket. recover these plants, they're never going to be able to be what they once were able to. They've wow. Been... Wow. This is the first time I'm really encountering somebody just straight grow boss. This is straight grow boss. And how do I know? Here's how I know. He's telling you the information to win while he's absolutely 100% failing. Disagree with me? Leave a comment. So he's telling you how to win in a garden that couldn't be failing harder. Stunted, and I'm going to pay for that in the yield. Overwatering has finish. made it so that I'm not able to assess the changes that I made to this run either. And I did kind of have a suspicion before even starting that I was going to have some problems, but I decided to go ahead with it anyway. Yeah, because all you guys kill your plants. It doesn't matter. You just do whatever the fuck you want to do. That's why I keep telling you, growing cannabis doesn't have anything to do with growing cannabis. It's all about the grower. You got to control yourself. I didn't really want to do uh, this grow with this dual auto grow going in the four by four uh, using a brand new setup that I haven't done a run in before. And that was a mistake, but it doesn't really, really, really. What did you just tell us like a minute ago, like 60 seconds ago? You just told us you overwatered. Now, what Excuse. is it? Excuse over watering at all um as you can see i still got roots that Listen, are looking when you only have roots on the outside that look like that it's because it's the only place where there's air left there's no air i had a customer come in my store i was like oh how often are you oh, you're in like a three gallon bucket how often are you watering and he's like once a day and i was like once a week and we said it at the same time and his girlfriend looks at me and i was like whoo and he goes, I'm in cocoa. Oh, he goes, one and a half times a day. And I was like, once a week. And he's all, one and a half times a day. I was like, wow. And his girlfriend turned his head and he looks at me and he's like, well, I'm in cocoa. And I was like, oh, okay. I, there, listen, there isn't anything but hydro that you have to water one and a half times a day. And their cocoa is not hydro. I literally sell a bag of cocoa next to the bag of soil because cocoa is a media. It's not hydro. The only things that are hydro is this, these balls, the clay, the licky, leachy, clay, hydro ton balls. That's it. That's it. Grow Dan is not hydro. There is nothing that's hydro at DWC. Just let the roots in the water. 
but there's nothing else that's hydro. In all right, they're white and healthy. So if I stop watering now, let them dry out and just kind of take a step back and... Okay, just, just understand that take a step back for a plant is 30 days. You could start a seed and 30 days from now, it'll be four times this plant. <coughs> 30 days from now, not the plant you're looking at now, whatever this plant is right now, it, it'll be four times this plant and, it, and exactly as big as it is 30 days from now. And one will be four months old, three months old, and the other one will be 30 days old. Go back to what I know works. What? I you, should be able to get these plants back to where they need. If anybody ever tells you they're rescuing a plant, I 100% guarantee you they're not winning. If it takes one month to cause the problem, and it takes one month to solve the problem, and then it takes one month to grow the plant again so you can flower it. And you remember, it's vertical the whole time. So if you vegged a shitty plant for three months, you're gonna have legs three times longer than the canopy, and the plant will never get bigger than the bucket. If you don't know to throw this plant away and start over, you have not had success before because, and let's be, let's just do some quick math again. If it's a one month veg and a two month flower, then in three months, you'll have got a harvest. Full of fucking colas in every trellis hole this big. One month causing the problem, one month recovering the problem, one month growing the plant so you could flower. In three months, this will be ready to flower, which takes two months. Going from one month veg, two month flower, three months to five months, three month veg, two month flower, going from three months to five months is a 66% increase in time. 66% increase in time. That Think about that. You go in line, you order a fucking burger, you have a burger in six fucking minutes. If you had to wait eight, 18 minutes for that same burger. I'm just saying, hey, just, 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 three months. So if you just, you get four, year, every three months, you would get four yields a month. Okay? If you got a harvest every five months, you would get two yields a year. Sorry, four yields a year, two yields a year. Okay? So you already got 50% more yield for the same electricity. And since you didn't do it right, you got 90% less than you were supposed to. So not only did you get 50% of the yield, you got a billion percent less than you were supposed to. Not, there is no grower that would ever rescue a plant unless it was some bizarre strain that they wanted, I suppose. But even then, you just make up a strain and call it whatever you want. Who cares? to be but it's definitely going to take me longer than it should at this point i'd recommend to anybody who finds themselves in this situation um just start a new run and if they catch up to your other ones been then reading the grow book. Your other ones but i'm definitely going to see this through to the end yeah because you have no idea because you have no idea um it's usually not worth it though and you can get back to where you were faster if you don't make the overwatering mistake and this is why i tell you guys you have no idea growing has nothing to do with cannabis uh, the the cannabis plant itself is one percent of the entire process if you've thought about nutrients for an hour in your life you have spent 59 minutes wasted because they're all the same shit i don't care which one you buy look at this guy it Growing cannabis is about is about changing. If you're failing at growing cannabis, growing it, it's about changing your personality. He is clearly doing too much and then does too much on top of it, tells you what to do and then doesn't do it. Who cares? I mean, this cannabis plant's bigger than Channel 2's cannabis zombie plant. These plants really do... Uh, just explode with growth if you just stay out of their way and 
give them the environment that they need, they don't stop growing. I'm really not going to change much here because the fix is really just to let it dry out a little bit more. I was trying to find that happy medium between overwatering and underwatering because I do tend to underwater and let the plants um, droop down before I even water it. But I'd much rather go back to closer to underwatering than overwatering. I'd had a little bit of success with watering a little bit earlier and it was going well and I think I let it just go to my head and I got too ambitious. So I backed off the light in the 4x4 tent about another foot and uh, just left these alone. I'm going to leave them in the corner there until I get through from at least one or two of the plants and then I'll water them all and that should recover them or at least that's what I've had success with in the past. Ah! So you've had success over watering your plants and then over watering your plants fix the overwatering problem. I'll send you a book. If you're just going to repeat me, I'll send you a book. JK Triple G. Oh, no. Bye, guys. So, uh... What did... What did, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. What did... Whoever that girl... Whoever another that guy was, this is just another one of you... Whoever just said, if your plant just grows tall and there's no morphology, whoever just repeated what I've been saying. There it is. Uh, we're, uh, we have two autos. These are from Growers' Choice Seeds. These are two different phenotypes. Um, oh, oh, oh. You, were, you wanted it to grow like that. You wanted to grow a plant with no bud on it. Okay. If you never get bigger than the bucket, where do you put the buds? Because branch, it requires branches to get bigger. I'm doing well. You're going to have to give me two seconds. Uh, we've made the <laughs> hey, dude. Hi. I like this guy. This is Pot Squatch. I like this guy. Uh, I'm sorry, Chef Life. But Chef Life 420, I'm assuming there's got to be the... Oh, ha, 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 ...is look at making sure you have enough light. Having enough light is going to be quintessential on that one as well. And then looking at your feeds and etc. So really, my guess is if you're, if you're consistently producing airy... And hay smelling like buds, okay? You have too much uh, light. It's going to be hay is too much light. caused by the actual grow itself. Hay is too much light. The first thing that you burn is trichomes. The scent glands on the plant are the first thing that burns from too much light. Remember, I don't care what temperature the room is. It could be 100 degrees outside and your car fender is 140, right? So don't confuse the wavelength with ambient temperature. Uh, because really, during our grow, during our run, right, that's when we're putting on our density, that's when we're putting on our meat, that's when we're putting on our weight, that's when we're putting on our flavors and our smell. Wait a minute, during flower? She grows flowers? Okay. That's okay. Um, so drying and curing properly is gonna help to better accentuate what we've created during our grow. Oh, so you're not gonna turn a shitty grow into a better grow by curing it. But if we didn't create sufficient levels of such things during our grow, then it ain't going to amount to shit. Or you burned them no matter off. matter how well we dry or cure it. Uh, Jeremiah Sanchez, I have babies going. I've got a bunch of seeds that we've popped. Uh, the next genetics that we're going to be running for everybody on the channel uh, are all 100% from Gazers. So we've got Gazers K-Town Kush, which is a blend of Afghan Kush, Master Kush, and Hindu Kush, which will grow correctly. Strain, blah, blah, blah. Strain, blah, blah, blah. Get the plant wider than the bucket. I don't ever care what strain you have. 
And then we've also got Cape Town by uh, by cheese, and that would be the 60-40 indica sat split cheese. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay. You are correct, God's naughty or mama. Overdrying things can cause the hay smell. However, um, it's over drying makes it brittle. I've never found over drying weed makes a hay smell. It just falls Sounds apart. Like that they've done a couple of runs and played around with it a bit. They're still consistently getting that. So really, the, you know, you always start at the beginning when you're trying to address a problem and approach the logic and syst systematically breaking down the grow and the approach. Okay. Uh, so that's where I would recommend. Has he said anything? Uh, you know, addressing these first variables that I just referenced, and then we would kind of go from there, trying to to figure it out. <laughs> uh, Jean Noir, it's noise I'm concerned about. Okay, well, one, um, typically, <coughs> when I ask, you're just running HEPA filters in your in your space and and you're, and you're venting the air out properly that way. Uh, venting. Really, I mean, noise isn't a big deal, like. There is noise, for example, in terms of my grow room here. I'm running an AC and a carbon scrubber all the time. Uh, however, at the end of the day, um, I'm, uh, the noise is very minimal. You can barely hear it even outside the room, let alone outside the house. Um, and I've just got it venting outside as well. So oh, so he's got an air conditioner and he's taking the, the cold day, air um, and he's venting it outside. Brilliant. Just have one singular vent kind of coming out. Um, if you're worried about the sound of that air coming out, I'd muffle it with maybe a couple of HEPA filters <coughs> into the venting system. You just slow the air down. Buy a smaller fan. Uh, I'm sorry, Chef Life. But Chef Life 420, I'm assuming there's got to be the equivalent to the bug lady in the States. Uh, she can't be the only one in the industry. I mean, I, I luckily found a local bug, uh, beneficial bug provider. There's got to be someone just like the bug lady down in the States. Um, I'll see if I can find one for you. Oh, good. You go do that. Uh, it does depend on the size of the buds, Gajanana, but it also... ...on Sunday, where I might be able to kind of set up the new equipment for the show on a mobile little computer... It is still superior to what I started with. I started with stealing lamp parts out of my... Okay. So, let's just say this guy's a great grower. Okay. So, great. He just grows the same bud. I mean, I don't care what strain it is. It's a garden. Watch your eyes, by the way, because it sticks are right there. But it's a garden full of bud. Good job, Pot Squatch. What's this? Oh, Pot Squatch. I love seeing that promotion of that fade. That natural fade means... One, the plant is using up its natural stars of nutrition within the plant. That's interesting. I'll show you something. I have this picture. I have this. I have two pictures. This one. And. Oh, nope. Yeah, different pictures. Okay. See how big the plants are? The lights are almost between them, right? Here's a big plant. Imagine two of these plants, the big style with the lights between them. See all the... <coughs> see all the, the... See the orange triangle over here on this side? That's the wasted light. If you put another plant on this side and you grow two very large plants... That's what he's doing here. It's, it's I suppose you could add all the side lighting. I mean, you I could do all of that. Weeks, but if you had just um, shaped up the plant, that big final push, you know what I mean? Got big, nice, flat, well, good-looking leaves flower, and colas. Serious. It'd just be easier. That's already taking place on these plants. If you can see that there, like my God, really getting some kind of nice big ball size action going on here. Small, that, small because they're not colas. Wanting to shoot for, okay. You get spears. Light. Whoopee. That's what happens when your canopy right. is greater than two feet Pull this deep. I mean, you just don't get Pull colas. Control. Yes, I mean, just just look at the leaves. Just look at the leaves. The other guy told you that you can't have purple because Pot Squatch told you you can't have purple or whatever the last guy was because that's a magnesium problem and then you overwater problem. And so here's the purple. Yeah, there's weird. the dark green leaves. Yeah, they're frosty, but there's no colas. So where's it's the weight? 
I mean, we got Titties to Dave. Watch your eyes. The thing Watch that's very exciting is these are actually bigger or at least on par with the size that we were at at Week 8 on the last run on some of these. Yes, I know. Some of these are really, really dusted with that brand. But again, it'll all but wash off in the end. Nobody. Oh, come on. Good growers just don't have problems. You just don't have bugs. Bugs can't attack so, a healthy plant. Those are looking good. Oh, it's another strain. Oh, no. There you go. I mean, in one second, it's floor, it's dirt, it's back wall. So whatever it is you tell me. It never, if it doesn't get bigger in the bucket, it's because you overwatered it. Sorry. Oh yeah, it's a product video. That's what you do when you don't know how to grow. Let's see how this grower does. Oh, are we gonna transplant that without topping it and giving it two more weeks? Look at all that product. We're gonna rip her head off and we're gonna train her out so all these little branches uh -huh. can grow out. Okay, listen, if he gets that bottom one out, if you take the top and you get all four of those out, it will be a monster plant. Monster. Big. Now here's a good shot of the little Mac right here. 90 degree trainer thing. Oh, plant trainer. Oh, talk to D Nugs. Look at that. That's not bad. But again, when whenever those are microbes. Whenever you have roots on the outside like that, it's usually the only dry area. Which makes sense because there's it's not branching out. Okay. It's huge bucket. But hey, listen, if you're a good grower and you put that plant in a huge bucket, you top it and you don't kill it, it will be bigger than the bucket. It will be if you're a good grower. And his name's Goliath Grower. So maybe it will be. I'm ex uh oh. Uh oh. That's too bad. I guess not. I guess it won't be. It can't be now. If you had if you had chopped it right here and left it right where it was, you would have had six nodes come out if it wasn't overwatered. Look at the morphology, they're already purpling. It feels overwatered. This will start curling up right here in between yes. these two nodes right here because this is the leaf that I have taken. Yes, and that's true. But <clears throat> if you had topped it, left it in the middle, and had six nodes, you would have had one at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Now you only have one at 12 o'clock. Very tough to do a giant plant if you didn't just top it and let the whole thing bush out like indoor promised oh. land. So it's going to curl up right here. It's yes, it will. In training. But without at, taking the apical no. top, it's a lot of dirt. It's very purple. The leaves, they're not. I'm excited. There, look, look, look. The morphology's coming up. It's purple, right? I mean, that's no different than if you would have just topped it and let them all. It's a huge increase in time. We'll see. I, I, I'm excited to follow along with Goliath Grower and see what happens. Oh, outdoors is magic. Outdoors doesn't count. That's why. Outdoors. Okay. It's just out. It's just outdoor. I just. I... Yeah, outdoor grows are magic. So this is an indoor. Oh no 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 no. No no. What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel, Girly Ganja. Oh, okay. All right. So remember, if you like this video, leave comments. <coughs> the code word is. Q 
kills for this video. Okay, kills is the code word for this video. Uh, leave comments, five comments, five people from the comments will win a chance at the, uh, at the prize, right? The, the Great White Microbes prize, okay? So don't forget to leave comments. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, uh, I don't really think I have anything else except for this last little part for you, but let's see, because <coughs> I have been waiting for this all week. Okay, this is September 30th and September 26th. Okay, if you remember, uh, with Girly Ganja, a couple of weeks ago, we had this with the newt burn because she mixed up hot nutrients. So she put a bunch of amendments. So we get to see what's Girly happening with Instagram the plants and now. TikTok. And today we officially you should subscribe. made it to week eight of our indoor weed grow. Y'all know I'm currently growing. Eight weeks of veg, four and start flower. We had the other guy who at week four is like, all right, I'm going to save these, right? Pot Squatch or whatever. is like, oh, I'm going to save these. And now he's going to be eight weeks into flower. So Pot Squatch is going to end up where Girly Ganja is at the moment. I'm excited to find out where that is. In my two by four, I mean, I see a lot of dirt over her right going. shoulder. If you right? guys want to check out the equipment I mean, it's, I just, use. it's just a tremendous amount of dirt, right? I mean, I don't, it's tough to, it's a lot of floor. There's a lot of wall. The plant's not bigger than the bucket. And everything that is incorporated. We're eight into weeks into veg, and the plant's still not bigger than the bucket. I don't know what you guys think you guys this job is. Update, y'all know that I've But you should subscribe to Girly Ganja. And I ended up transplanting my plants from one gallons into their now three gallon soft pot. Typically, when I transplant my plants, they usually go through some type of like transplant. Your plant should never. Ever, if your plant is healthy, the only transplant shock that will happen is you being like, oh my God, it grew so fucking big. If you outgrow your previous container, you redline the RPM before you drop it into the next gear, you're going to chirp the tires and you're going to explode into the next container shock where the plants might droop or never in case, some type not of even a little bit up, you know and only when you have a bucket full of dirt and your plants are awful will you say that when you have big giant healthy plants they will root into your hand you will you will never say the things that you are being told right now you the only three problems a good grower have plants got too big for the light significant other hates trimming the whole fucking block smells like weed and when I transplanted them initially, I noticed the next day they were very droopy. And usually my plants bounce back like after day two or three from them being transplanted. And I use recharge. So, so if you've used, if your plants are purple, how are they going to, I mean, purple takes three weeks. It's overwatering. The other guy told you so. So where is the, where is the recognition of what the problem is? And then I hope at some point she's going to mention the burning with the nutrients, right? Let's see. So that usually just really helps get them together. But that wasn't the case for this week. After a few days, they continue to remain tacoed up as if they were suffering from some type of heat stress of some sort. The thing is yeah, you mix the nutrients too hot. In my tent are not high at all. I never really get above like 80, 85, just because as you guys know, I'm growing in my room and my air condition. Just because. Okay. That's why I tell you guys, when there's a problem, your plant keeps getting taller. You get the one stick, you might get a little bit of canopy later, but it's still not bigger than the bucket. And you've got three that times the know, leg that you have canopy. So you've got four inch of canopy, you've got so two and a half feet of leg. Is coming from there the it is. Itself. This Way too much leg. Until two days or so after I transplanted. So in my opinion, it must be in my soil. My soil must have got hot from mixing all of those dry amendments together and then immediately transplanting after. I did a little bit of research and some people swear that dry amendments themselves cannot get hot, that it's only the liquid nutrients. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's, we've seen that one. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. This says, this uh, is new. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe hey, button. Hey, they look greener. And make sure it's you cannabis follow me is a on weed. Instagram and TikTok.
Okay, this is a, th these are four weeks old. I know it's week eight, Veg, but you should be able to do this in four weeks. We're like in the middle of week eight. I know I just posted the eighth week update. So we are still in week eight, but I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know how they're doing since my last video. Because as you guys know- Watch, uh, what'll happen is when you don't completely bury this, uh, and you continue to water, you get what's called trenching, right? So it'll dip down the sides on the cube, exposing the roots around the edge and killing them. You always completely bury this, and then if you get any of the trenching, you have to put a little bit more media so in. after we transplanted these into their three gallon soft pots, I ended up burning them. And y'all know I switched to dry amendments. So one, I didn't think that you can even burn with dry amendments, but a lot of you guys commented on my last video and advised that yes you sure can and that you guys have had a lot of experiences with yeah because 99 percent of growers fail dry amendments or have heard a lot about it doesn't matter what you so do 99 percent of growers was, fail i went ahead and i flushed them so I will how do you flush a dry amendment in a bit of that but i also had a lot of people commenting that you know you can't even flush dry amendments but as you guys can see my plants are doing pretty good after I flushed them. So I don't know, it worked really well for me, especially if you guys seen how they looked before. You better start flowering. And yeah, yeah. Now imagine so your plants, if you're impressed I'm like, now that we are with back, wasting like time by them like, bouncing back, I'll... imagine how impressed you would be if you never had any problems in a couple of days you should go into flower to come and show you guys what they're looking like thank you yep. all who there this is your trenching see I the trench the right there there it is so that's how you wash the burn. roots away and it what really you do helps. is all the roots that you took time to grow out of the four sides of the cube you now trench down the side of the cube so imagine it like a dice like a six-sided die you have roots down the bottom and you have roots out the four sides. If you trench, you reduce four sides of roots down to just the bottom. There's trenching. Us new growers, you know, go in one direction or the other. Sometimes I always find myself so stuck, Sometimes I always what? when it comes to my soil. Since I don't know what's going on in there, it's like, it's so hard to just- So she doesn't know what's going on. She made a video filling it with amendments. How about you just grow with a bag of soil? I, You know what I mean? Just buy a bag of soil from a hydro store and just learn to shape up your plants. That's how you win. What to do and having you all share your experiences and just tips. 99% of growers fail. Therefore, 99% of the information you're sharing is failure based. It's always helpful for not only me, but everyone else that is reading the comments for direction on how to do the best that they can with their garden. So really appreciate all the comments. How often do you think I that plant really and that bucket needs to be watered? About two to three every two weeks, every pH three water. weeks? My pH to around 6.5. Oh, so she's had all these problems and her pH is 6.5. How come she doesn't have a nutrient deficiency? I wanted to do everything right. I just wanted this flush to work. So after I did all of that, I, I basically flushed each and every one of them. And once I did that, there they, is no they, way you can flush one of those five gallon buckets. You would have to in, in with that little shitty plastic saucer. If you tried to flush this plant, you would have to put it in the shower. It would require 20 gallons. The very next day, they looked a lot better. It's been about like four to five days since I flushed them. But they started to come back the very next day. I noticed a lot of the taco wing had left and then they just looked like they were actually, I just knew that the flushing was gonna work. So then I just kept the eye on them and day after day, they just started looking better and better. And then today is like the fourth day. So she didn't do anything and they looked better and better. And I can clearly see that they are better especially if y'all seen that last video i was scared like i was like what the hell and the crazy thing is is that's happened to me in the past a lot and i never really knew what to do i don't know i just usually would just either keep feeding or keep watering and i think a lot of times that so didn't she do that this time she flushed right wasn't that a lot of water isn't that what she did never fixed the problem and just kept me held back and i'm so so we're eight weeks deep and she's got I don't know how much longer to go, 
But the rest of us would have been flowering four weeks ago. Glad that you We'd guys be halfway through the flower now. Flushed. So thank you guys for recommending that because <laughs> I don't know if I would have flushed. I've actually never flushed a lot like in my grows just because I don't like doing it, especially growing inside. It's like just a bunch of water, but you got to do what you got to do. And I was glad I did because had I not have done that, I would have just kept on pushing on with them being locked. How do you know that since they're powdered nutrients, how do you know it wasn't a nutrient deficiency? Then you activated the nutrients and now there's more nutrients because you watered them. You certainly did not water all the dry amendments out of it. Wouldn't it be more accurate to think that they were nutrient deficient? <coughs> and now they had access to more okay, nutrients okay. because you added Dying. nutrients. So this is what they're looking like. And so far, obviously so good. I don't see any more burnt tips. Nothing is coming out. And now you can see they're flat and even starting to get their nice green color back. So excited to be back on track. And now I think what I'm going to do is just keep vegging them for about two more weeks because I want them to get a little bit taller. Never! Of all the things you don't ever want indoors is taller. You guys look at how they're, they're not that tall. So this is my wedding crash here. And then this is also the two um, LA Pop Rocks. So I think it is time to scrog. I was gonna scrog, y'all know that, but- You have been scrogging. I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and wait until they get back to a healthier state. And well, you don't put them in a trellis doing well, I feel until like I you start flowering. Move on. But yeah, so far so good of their own you know so i always try to grow my plants even what an even canopy this one's kind of going crazy she's going out of control and this was the one that i super cropped if you guys remember this is the wedding crasher she was my favorite because she was the tallest and honestly i was scared for her i never thought she was gonna bush up like this so i just kept you know i super cropped her and then i kind of kept pulling down the branches like this and just what keeping these ones about? going down and even <laughs> I love her. She is adorable. What is she doing? She always tries to grow her plants tall. Oh, she's got bugs. Her, so, well, so she always tries to keep her canopy even. Is that what she's saying? Has gone. So really that, happy that's what she's saying. So even back here, she didn't try to keep her canopy even. These ones happened after that last video. But like I said, once I flushed, she's got no branches. It's chopsticks. So yeah, I just Next wanted to time, go through with a quick she's gonna do to think I obviously need to add some soil to this one, but I haven't done it yet. Uh. I'm the Grow Boss, and you're about to see a revolution in cannabis growing. I'm telling you, I've been doing it for this webcast for four years, and my book is 10 years now. And if you're just seeing your favorite channels doing better, and they're still trying to work it out, and they're saying the things that I'm telling you, it's because you're watching them learn how to grow, like the Grow Boss. And if you want a canopy full of colas, get my book. There it is on my website. On Saturdays, I do a webcast, 10 a.m. You can submit, you can, you can stream yard with me. You can submit pictures here. You can get in on the contest, leave comments. The code word for this is kills. The third code word is all somewhere on the website. Then you go to the contest page, put them all in there, and five winners from that will get tickets to enter the contest. Oh. For the great white at the end of this month, for the great white microbes at the end of this month. What I'm telling you is you're watching a revolution happen with indoor growing. And if you just want to get to the end faster, just listen to the Grow Boss. It's the Grow Boss revolution. You can't. It's undeniable. Otherwise, they'd be telling me now. Oh, Grow Boss, I've been winning for years. I literally keep making videos of your favorite YouTubers telling you that you're winning at growing cannabis when they're not. We're watching them start to grow and say things like the Grow Boss. If you want to say things like the Grow Boss, Let's go get a copy of my book. Damn. TheGrowBoss.com. Just go get a copy of my book. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. See you next week. Comment and share and like and subscribe and ring the bell.